Here is Phil Dawson, 41 years of age. This field goal would be number 400 of his 18-year career. And it is good. Congratulations on your 400th made field goal. Only the 10th player in NFL history to do so. I can't imagine the feeling. Well, it felt really good. It's something that uh, obviously been tracking for a while and to be able to do it at home and in front of our fans and have my family here to, to share in it with me and then just the reception of my teammates and coaches. Uh, you mix that all together. It was really special. The only way it could have been better is if it had come, you know, in a victory. The milestone is one thing. Like I said, only 10 people have ever done it. But to be the most accurate as well, that's got to mean something. It does. You know, I just try to make the most of my opportunities. And, and part of being a kicker is you just never know. Uh, you just kind of have to be ready. And whenever your team needs you, you got to go out there and make the most of it. And that's what I've tried to do in my career and uh, hopefully keep doing it. When you go out there, take me through the kick. 33 yards, you're lining it up. What's going through your mind? Uh, I could sense uh, kind of the anticipation, excitement. And uh, I lined up and great snap, great hold. The guys protected well, and I just tried to punch it through. And I can remember looking up and seeing that it was heading in the right direction and it was just a, a great sense of relief. Well, that's that's the one for the trophy case. I know you've got all of them up on the wall at home. Is, is that where that's going to go? Got a special place on the mantle? Yeah, that, that'll that'll find a, a special place. And, uh, you know, I think that'll be one that as I'm done playing, you know, whenever that is, I'll, I'll appreciate that ball even more. You know, right now I'm still doing my thing and uh, trying to get ready for another opponent. Uh, so I can't really go into old grandpa reflection mode yet. Uh, but uh, as time goes by, I think I'll really enjoy that one. Is your phone blowing up post game? I've always tried to include people around me. Uh, you know, my wife, I, I told her she deserves a ball because the thing she's done for 19 years in this league, the sacrifice she's made, uh, following me around, taking care of the kids, uh, putting up with the hecklers in the stands. I mean, it hadn't always been gravy. And, uh, you know, when we embraced after the game, just getting to say thank you to her and, and how much she's been a part of this and my kids and my friends and family back home. And so to get phone calls from all those kinds of people who feel a part of this is very special to me. It turned out perfectly. It was a Thanksgiving game for you and your family. You had the whole family here. Didn't make special arrangements just for 400, just worked out that way. It was great to have them in the stands. Absolutely. Uh, you know, to have my parents here, uh, they don't get to come to very many games. and. That's a neat little deal and get to share it with them. They've, they've been there from literally my first kick. And we kind of talked about that a little bit. Uh, Uncle Phil is the popular yeah. nickname. When's the first time you heard it? You know, I think Tori started it towards the end of last year, maybe. And, uh, you know, I didn't really know what it meant at the time, uh, but I've, I guess it's a term of endearment, so I'm gonna go with it. Uh, my boys think it's cool and it's, it's the end thing to be called, so I guess I'm cool now. Better Uncle Phil than Grandpa Phil? Yeah, I mean, but the gray, it, it, that's coming. I might be great Uncle Phil here before too long. 18 years, an incredible career. I love going back and looking at the, the rookie year headshot with Cleveland. What's the biggest difference between 2016 and 1999? I had hair. Well, I don't know. It's, I can remember early in my career uh, preparing for opponents, and you would literally go to the video guys, and they'd give you a VCR tape. You'd take it home and watch it. And now, now everything's on iPads. So just the to go from VCR to now literally tablets on the sideline so you can come off the field right after a play and see exactly what happened. I mean, that feedback and that amount of information is just, it's really changed the game. We saw you a couple of weeks ago in Arizona blast a 53 yard and hit the back of the net. And so you're clearly up to it. So are we thinking about the future? Where are you at right now? I'm trying to make 401. Uh, preparing for Miami uh, you know it's always been about the next kick to me and you know yeah I have long-range plans and and go big picture but that's usually in the off season when I'm in the season it's all about what, what do I have to do today to get prepared and so I'm gonna grind as hard as I ever have these last six games give it everything I got and then when the dust settles we'll see what happens